Welcome to my channel. Do you guys see me? Do you recognize me? <laughs> so guys, in today's video, I tried creating, not tried, I created, I did the things. I created this beautiful look that has been inspired by a makeup artist called Kevin Luang. I will leave his details or his Instagram here and I will also leave his Instagram link in the comment section, not in the, in the description box basically. So anyway, he inspired this look. I have updated my, the way I do my makeup. It is now, it's different. It's different, nothing I had done before I tried or seen how he does things and also listen to some tips that he shared on his Instagram. So yeah, if you want to see how I created this beautiful look, stay tuned if you're not part of the family please click the subscribe button down below to join and also don't forget to like comment and also share this video let me know if there's any other look that you'd like for me to try i am more than keen and also follow me on instagram to just follow the looks that i create so yeah that's it let's get straight into this video so without wasting any time, we are going to get straight into this look, okay? I'm going to start with the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Concealer. This is in the shade Caramel. What you notice with this guy's technique is that when it comes to highlighter, he really does bright highlighting under the eyes and I absolutely like that. So. I'm going to start with concealing and basically highlighting my face. I've applied primer already because I didn't want this tutorial to be long. I have a feeling that it is going to be long because of how detailed um, I want to be. I'm also putting the concealer here so that I can get the lifted eye effect. And I'm also bringing this concealer into my nose so that my nose can be more snatched. Because I've got a small um, forehead, I just highlight just a bit. I'm going to layer that concealer with my Revlon Candid Concealer in the shade Medium Deep. So what I'm gonna do now is let this concealer sit on my face for a couple of minutes, not minutes, for a couple of seconds, and then blend it out once it's a bit dry. I know this looks hella scary, but trust me, trust the process, it's gonna come all right. What I'm going to do now is to shape and sculpt my face and contour it basically. And to do that, I'm using this Wet n Wild foundation in the shade Mahogany. So this foundation is about three shades darker than my foundation and that is what I'm going to use to sort of snatch my face. What Kevin Luong does is that when it comes to his clients, his models, he focuses on this part, the sculpting, the bronzing, the snatching and making the shape of the face to be more defined and more, you know, so that's what I'm going to do now. I know that because I have a small forehead, I don't have much room, but I'm going to work with what I have basically. So what you want to do at this point is that you want to blend your 
contour but you want to blend it up towards your highlighter so you blend it up instead of blending it down For my nose I'm blending using this fluffy brush and as you can see I'm blending this contour, my nose contour right into my eye or into my eye, um, into the eyebrow area. Now as you can see my face has a bit of shape but it has a lot of harsh lines and to combat the harshness of my face what i'm going to do is that i'm going to take my foundation um so this is the third step i take my foundation and i put it everywhere in between my contour and my highlighter concealer um the foundation i'm going to use is this estee lauder double wear foundation um my shade is sandalwood for reference so i'm applying this with a stippling brush now what i'm going to do now is take this blending brush and blend everything now in place take a bit of that foundation to make sure that you you remove all the harshness um, of the contour the highlighter so at this point I'm taking the Revlon candid setting powder in the shade 001 and I'm going to set and bake under my eyes so at this point I'm moving on to doing my brows and his technique um, is quite simple when it comes to eyebrows he goes very light-handed very natural feathered eyebrow look which is something that I have been enjoying quite a lot lately so I actually enjoy this step and because you can see I have um, a bit of thick eyebrows I don't need to do much to be honest so I'm just gonna brush them up and lightly use a pencil to outline And then to shape out my eyebrows, I'm going to use um, LA Girl Concealer in the shade form because I'm not looking for a super bright outline. I want my eyebrows to still look a bit natural. Another step that I've been absolutely loving of late is setting my brows with a setting powder. I find that that makes my brows not to be shiny and to look nice and flawless. So I'm going to sort of bake, um, bake them. And then I'll remove the excess powder later what I'm going to do now is to remove the excess powder that is under my eyes and to do that I'm basically just taking a powder brush and pushing the powder into my skin at 
this point I'm going to bronze my face and to bronze my face I'm going to use two products you would see with Kevin um, Luong's looks he is super heavy on the bronze the models always look mm, beautiful gorgeous and super bronzed so I'm using this Maybelline master bronze bronze bronzing powder and I'm going to use the two um, shades that are left because it got broken i'm also going to mix that with the matte blush from beauty treats and use this and then i'm going to right after that take a blush i'm using this revlon blush in the shade hot cheeks And now, without wasting any time, I'm going straight into the eyes. With um, the eye look, I'm going to keep it nice, matte, and simple. I'm literally just going to use one or two shades. Um, I'm taking this fluffy brush, and then I'm going to use this dark um, brown sh shade from the palette Bad Habit by Athena and then I'm gonna slightly just put this oh my god there's a bit of fallout not a bit actually a lot so I'm just going to put a bit of powder there just to be safe I'm taking this light shade and I'm using that as my highlight shade And I'm gonna take the same light shade and put it um, on my lid and pack it also in my inner corner. And then I'm just going to brush up my eyebrows. Now to remove the powdery look, I'm going to set my face with the Maybelline Lasting Fix Spray. I'm gonna do my eyelashes off camera and I'll be back to finish up. So I've just put on my lashes. Absolutely loving this look um, so far. And we are almost at the finish line. Um, and right now I'm going to highlight not my face, just my nose because he goes for something that is more matte um the rest of the face is matte but he highlights the nose slightly so i'm just gonna do that and then to highlight my nose i'm using the maybelline master Maybelline Mega Glow Highlighter, just that it's broken, so I can't really show it to you guys. And then I'm also going to slightly highlight my inner corners. And the last step to this beautiful look is doing my lips and for my lips today I'm going to be going um, a bit nude with a touch of gloss. I'm going to start with my Essence pencil in the shade Teddy. And if you want to know the lashes that I'm using, I bought these from China Mall from the brand Bling Girl. Um, you get like six pence for 50 rands, so you should actually check it out. And then for lipstick, I'm going to go with the L'Oreal Paris Ultra Matte Lipstick in the shade Lots of... Oh, Box of Chocolates.
So this is the final look. Absolutely love it. Absolutely impressed. Absolutely sticking to this routine from now going forward. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any future uploads. If you have any suggestions of looks you want me to try out, let me know down in the comment section. Until next time, from me to you guys with the love.